Fighting Blindness Canada's Viewpoint is a virtual education series that brings you the latest in vision research presented by health experts from across Canada. The webinar you're about to watch is a recording. To learn more about the research we fund and upcoming webinars and events, please visit our website at fightingblindness.ca. This Viewpoint webinar is proudly presented by Bayer and supported by Allergan, Biogen, Janssen, and Novartis. We'd also like to thank Accessible Media Inc., our national accessibility partner. Everyone here should download the AMI app, which is a fabulous resource. And you can watch excellent programming, including previous Fighting Blindness Canada events. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy this webinar and share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. So today we have a uh, fan favorite and dear friend of Fighting Blindness Canada, Steve Ricci, joining us from CNIB Smart Life uh, to talk about some of the latest and greatest products for accessibility. So in the interest of time, I'm going to stop talking and turn it over to you, Steve, uh, whenever you're ready. And you're muted. <laughs> Yes, and now I'm unmuted. So, there we go. and I'm going to take my face off the camera in a minute so that I could see what I'm doing. But thank you, Morgan, and thank you for this opportunity, uh, Fighting Blindness Canada. And uh, I, I finally got the name right because <laughs> it did take a, a little a little time after the transition and change of the name. But uh, I've always been a, a, a fan and supporter. And uh, uh, I'm going to just uh, turn off my. Uh, my camera for a minute and uh, start my little presentation and, and thank you all for joining us today. Okay, here we go. So uh, welcome to our virtual, our virtual workshop, exploring the world of accessible technology products for low vision solutions. My name is Stephen Ricci. I work for the CNIB Foundation in the Social Enterprise Division as the portfolio manager. In other words, I'm the technology product specialist with accessible solutions, accessibility solutions. I support our business to business, our business to education, and our business to consumer teams across Canada. I am partially sighted, legally blind, registered with the CNIB due to ocular albinism since birth. I have been selling and supporting assistive technology across Canada, form, formerly with Frontier Computing since 2004, helping people find the best accessible solutions in their daily life, whether at home, in the classroom, at work, or at play. It should never be a cookie cutter approach. When we have a better idea of what the individuals wants to accomplish, in their daily life, their eye condition, their personality, their budget, their workflow, and other relevant information that can help narrow down the list of products that we are best suited to help with productivity, self-confidence, independence, and empowerment. Now we have created a recipe for success. The world has become a much smaller and more accessible place, mostly due to technology and awareness. Today, I would like to take you on a virtual tour of my tables that I would normally have filled with products on display to demonstrate the various benefits and features at the conferences, trade shows, and tech fairs that we normally attend throughout Canada, especially Quest. I will give you an overview of some of the amazing popular products that help level the playing field for people that are partially sighted. Now, next slide, please, Morgan. Uh, this slide shows two images, one of me leaning on a white cane, my, my stick posing beside my display table and the Frontier Accessibility Banner waiting for the tech fair to begin. The other image is a better view of the two long tables full of demo equipment to showcase off at Vision Quest in Calgary 2019. Next, please. This slide is titled Accessibility Technology Categories. 
when it comes to products that can have a positive impact on people that are blind, partially sighted, and deaf blind, we can identify a few factors. Braille, reading with your fingers, fingertips. Uh, audio, reading with your ears. And magnifying and or manipulating what we see to see it, read it better. For the purpose of this presentation, I have broken the subject matter into categories and subcategories. Okay, and uh, let's see here. So, sorry, uh, number one is video magnification, mag video magnifiers, uh, tabletops, portables, near and distance and wearables. The next bullet point is magnification software. The next bullet point, enhanced keyboards, then daisy book readers and GPS, then text-to-speech solutions, OCR, wearable software, and standalone. Then screen readers, and then braille, braille embossers, note takers, and braille displays. We're not gonna really go into much uh, braille or, or screen readers on this uh, presentation. And then other, other innovative, innovative technologies. Well, without further ado, and let's get on with the show. So now we should be at slide number four. And this one is titled Goals, Expectations. What do you want to accomplish in your daily life to be more independent and productive? Read, mail, newspapers, magazines, books, instructions, love letters, recipes, Bible, computer, whatever, whatever floats your boat. That is, is, you know, we're just trying to now in this particular slide, just talk about, you know, what people want to do. And, and you know, you may, you may see a few things here that, that strike your fancy and you may want to add a couple to the list. Write letters, checks, grocery list, crossword puzzles, or Sudoku. Uh, watch, watch TV, uh, plays, concerts, sports events, or your grandchildren. Uh, household tasks like cooking, cleaning, laundry, operating appliances, and gardening. My favorite is vacuuming, of course. Uh, play, play games, cards, instruments, sports. C, see loved ones, self-examination, makeup, nails, street signs, and numbers on buildings. Slide five, please. Okay, slide five is, uh, what is video magnification or known as CCTVs, and what will it do for me? A video magnifier or closed circuit television, CCTV, provides a magnified image for use by people with low vision to enable them to maintain an independent lifestyle at work, home, or school. A video magnifier consists of a camera, a monitor, lighting, and usually a stand. In addition to providing magnification, video magnifiers usually have enhanced contrast and other features that help you read magazines and letters, view family photos, write checks, perform work activities, uh, do schoolwork, and engage in your favorite hobbies. Video magnifiers are used by people with age-related macular degeneration, AMD, uh, diabetic retinopathy, cataracts, glaucoma, and many other visual conditions. Slide six, please. Slide six, it's like you're being Vanna White today for me, Morgan, thank you. Slide six is entitled Video Magnifiers Product Category. So here we get into the subcategories, if you will, and we're gonna talk about tabletops, foldable tabletops, text-to-speech, as well as near and distance, portable, handheld, and head-worn. When it comes to video magnifiers, commonly called CCTVs, closed circuit TVs, there are many different models, categories, and subcategories ranging in price from, let's say, $500 to $7,750. There are several common components, features, a display, a camera, lights, allowing the user to manipulate what they are viewing by magnify, magnification, changing contrast or polarity, line markers and masks, near and distance, optical character recognition or what we call OCR, with or without handles, uh, high definition analog and connectivity. 
number seven, please. We'll get right into this now with uh, the tabletop Clearview C, uh, the Merlin and the Topaz. This is a traditional, uh, often referred to as CCTVs with the traditional XY table. So I've got three images of probably the most popular, uh, not just in Canada, but probably worldwide of, of the traditional video magnifiers, or as we often refer to them, and I'm trying to change the language to video magnification because it reminds me more of, of an actual uh, description of what we're looking at and what we want. A CCTV, even though it is accurate, closed circuit TV reminds me of surveillance in a in a in a bank or a, a, a supermarket or something like that or a convenience store. So, uh, if I had a dollar for every email I got trying to sell me uh, surveillance, I, I'd be a rich guy. Uh, so these are uh, going from left to right on this slide. The Clearview C by Optelec. Um, it's uh, these are all 24 inch screens, and you know they give a large field of view, um, ease of use. Uh, is fabulous because you have the the XY table or it moves from side to side and up and down. And the purpose of that is allowing you to be able to navigate or track through the document that you want to read. Um, you can also, there is quite a bit of space between the camera, which is in be, uh, up uh, in, in behind the, the display um, and the, the base uh, for doing crafts, for you know, like I said, maybe even doing personal things like your nails or crossword puzzles. Um, the 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 only real disadvantage of these things is that uh, they're not very portable. Once they sit on a the table, they pretty much sit on a table. Anyway, that's uh, uh, these were invented back in I think 1971 and uh, still very popular. Um, but they are um, going to you're going to see some some of the newer and and, and more exciting versions uh, as we move along next slide please this is slide number eight believe it or not uh foldable tabletops then we've got the reveal 16 from humanware uh, the vario digital from uh, eschenbach and then we've got the magnalink zip going from left to right on this particular slide and now you're going to see a few things we've got a, a little bit smaller display in in that the most of these are in that anywhere between a 13 to a 17 inch screen or 16 inch screen uh, these ones um, are are quite foldable they're quite light and and they're they're sort of uh you know very very popular um especially in the edu they started off being very popular in education for us because of the fact that that uh, students uh, need to move around, especially at those in those younger grades before they get a laptop. Um, anyway, so you're, you'll notice that the XY table or the, the tracking table um, is gone from these. Uh, so now we've been telling people all, all, all the years, you know, don't move the copy. And now we're saying, okay, move the copy. Um, they're foldable, they're sleek, they're, they've, got, they've all got really great builds. A couple of them have distance cameras to be able to view distance. Uh, and, and some of them even have uh, uh, connectivity and stuff like that. But these particular ones here, um, you know, are, 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 like I said, very portable, um, a little bit smaller uh, display, uh, light, and, and you can, you know, maybe throw them in your trunk if you want to go visit, or even just to be able to put them in different rooms in your, your house or your office or your school. Next slide, please. And uh, this one is uh, slide number nine. Uh, these are uh, tabletops with speech. And we've got on the left, it's the Reveal 16 by Humanware, 16i, excuse me, which has connectivity as well. It, it's, uh, the connectivity is based on the Android platform. Then we've got the Clearview C, which is very similar to the one in the last one, both of the Reveal and the six. This is like the, these are the speech versions. So um, the Clearview C also has, uh, um, the ability to have speech um, and you know it has a touch screen so that you can uh, it's very intuitive and and has all the live features that you would see in the in the regular version and now this is just a, a bit of an upgraded version that has the text to speech solution and and then we have uh, of course on the on the right um, the Merlin Pro um, uh, this is, gives you the best of both worlds with magnification and OCR text-to-speech in one unit. So 
as people sometimes with having a, a changing vision condition, um, this is always uh, a, a great thing to, uh, to, uh, to think about because as it may become more difficult to track large documents or some documents, um, you still might use the device or these, the, these tabletops for being able to, uh, to view certain things, but uh, large documents, you just wanna maybe turn on the reader and, 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 and put up your feet and lay back uh, with, your, with your favorite beverage and, and just listen. Next slide, please. Um, and now these are these are some examples of a couple of near and distance cameras, which are really um, sort of more um, popular in the, the education field and maybe into the business uh, field. As you can see, they are, I call them the camera on a stick. So they are very portable. Um, they have a lot of uh, benefits and features uh, and you can connect them to either a, a laptop or a desktop or uh, a display and, and, they, and, and even uh, in some cases, a television set. Uh, we're gonna just uh, whip by this one. This is on the, on the left-hand side is the transformer and the other side is the, um, sorry, is the Magnolink gas. I figured I better just say what they are. So yeah, next slide, please, Morgan. And this is number 11. Uh, and then we're going near and distance. And this is more of a, these are tablets that are connected to a camera, as you can see. Um, and it's on the, on the, the left-hand side is the, the Prodigy Connect by HumanWare, Prodigy Connect 12. And it works on an Android platform. And then we have the Magnalink tab on the right-hand side. And there's a couple other out there. I just wanted to put a couple. These are mostly used in education or business but settings. Um, and uh, the, the, uh, the one on the right is, is using the Windows platform. Um, so, you know, we've, we've, we've got all these different platforms. Well, you know, main ones are, of course, you know, uh, Windows and, and Mac and, and Android uh, and, uh, and of course the iOS. Um, so, you know, in, in a perfect world, it, it, we might one day see uh, these different platforms all in the same product. But let's go to the next one, which is slide 11, I think. Nope, nope, this is slide 12. Uh, and this is more into the portable. Um, portable, and this is uh, depicting a couple of pictures of the, the HumanWare um, Explore 8 and the Explore 5. and um, Lots of uh, these are these are what they say is a five-inch screen and an eight-inch screen. Uh, lots of cool benefits and features. Um, okay, we're we're uh, getting out of time. Morgan tells me I better hurry up. Slide thirteen, please. This is a portable uh, Eschenbach Visulux HDXL, very popular. Um, so we've got the two Eschenbach. Uh, uh, it's a uh, a seven-inch and a and a twelve-inch. And uh, let's go to the next one, the slide 14. Uh, this, is a, this is a pretty cool one. It's pretty new from Optilec. It's called the uh, um, Compact 10 Speech. And it, it basically integrates uh, a 10 inch video magnifier with all the benefits and features more or less that we were talking about. And also has a, a OCR text to speech component, which allows you to uh, basically go through and, and, and um, take an image of, of, a, of a full page, uh, eight and a half by 11, and uh, have it read to you. So that's pretty cool in a, in a fairly small package with a 10 inch screen. Next, please. These are just another couple of examples of uh, the, uh, the handheld uh, Eschenbach Mobile Lux and the Smart Lux. Next. This is uh, another image of uh, the, uh, the handheld compact uh, plus and the HD Ruby, these are 4.3 inches. Uh, next, this is uh, head worn. This is becoming a, a very, uh, a growing category. Um, and we have three of them here. Um, the eSight 4, which is their latest iteration, uh, Canadian company. And then we have the, um, hang on a second here. Uh, the, then we have the uh, Iris Vision in the middle and then something called the Vision Buddy. And just, just sort of think of these as wearing electronic binoculars. And depending on what you wanna do, whether it's for work or for, or for school, or in a lot of cases, a lot of people just wanna be able to watch television or, or do household tasks and things like that. So um, let's just move on, because uh, <laughs> I guess I'm not as fast a talker as I thought I was. So slide number 18 is, uh, what is magnification software? So we're just gonna, we're just going to pass on that one. Just keep going. It's uh, a Zoom text and and um, 
This slide is ZoomText and Supernova. Um, they are very popular magnification softwares, and initially it's basically software that allows you to, um, to enlarge and enhance what you see on the computer screen. Uh, in, in a lot of cases, it also has a reading component, uh, and we'll just, we'll just get on to the next slide, um, which is in, uh, number 20, Enhanced Large Print Keyboards. Um, as you can see, this this slide sort of shows a Zoom Text keyboard, a Keys You See keyboard, and some uh, large print enhanced stickers. Um, very popular for people. Uh, um, let's just go to the next slide. Uh, daisy players. So daisy players are are also a very popular item, um, and uh, basically uh, daisy is a format that says the digital accessible. Uh, information system. Let's just uh, go to the next slide here, some of the DAISY players. Uh, so the, there's a tabletop CD that use CDs, USB, SD cards, uh, direct to player is uh, another um, situation and then, uh, that you can just connect to the library uh, like SELA. Uh, robust speaker, next one is portable uh, and it's uh, handheld, uh, no CDs, but also lots of extra features. Uh, and then there's a uh, book reading uh, with GPS. The Humanware has a Victor Reader uh, uh, track, which incorporates a, a GPS with a Daisy player, familiar of what the stream used to be. And then there's uh, software. So let's just uh, zip through the next couple. There's some uh, tabletop uh, Victor Stratus um, machines in this slide and the next one. Uh, this is the stream on the left, uh, Victor Reader stream, the portable one I talked about, and then the Trek that has the GPS on the right. Next slide. Uh, these are just a couple other uh, versions of a, of a competitor product, not quite as popular anymore because for whatever reason, they uh, they have broken the connection to do uh, direct to player with uh, SELA and other libraries. So we'll stay tuned on that. It's a great product, but uh, we're, uh, we're just gonna see what happens with uh, the, the ability to connect to uh, libraries in the future. Next slide. Okay, this is uh, some examples of the software that's out there. Uh, Easy Reader, Overdrive, Libby, uh, Dream Reader, and, and uh, Direct to Player. Next slide, please. Okay, uh, what is text-to-speech? Uh, we've talked a little bit about it. It's optical character recognition. Uh, it's basically turning, in my layman's terms, because I don't have time, I think uh, the clock is ticking. Um, layman's terms, it's basically taking uh, physical uh, text and turning it into uh, a digital or electronic text. And if we go to the next slide, we'll just show a couple examples. Uh, there's software, there's a standalone, there's head-worn, and there's uh, hardware that, that supports it. So the next slide, quickly. Uh, and this is just some of the software, basically Kurzweil 1000 and Open Book. They're they're specific to uh, help people that that have uh, uh, vision loss. The next slide. These are are the one on the left is called the Clear Reader Plus. It is one of my favorite products that that I've been selling for many years, and it's just a wonderful product. Literally, it's portable, nine inches by nine inches by about three inches. You push a button, and it will read anything that's underneath the camera that pops out. That's eight and a half by eleven. It's just a lovely product. And the Cerasi is another product, not quite as portable, but uh, also very popular. Next slide. Uh, this is a uh, uh, OrCam. Everyone uh, is is very excited about the OrCam. The OrCam Pro on the left uh, and the OrCam Read on the right. Uh, these this company has been around for a little while, and they have have really got an algorithm down that that allows a, a user to to literally point at, at text and it will capture it and read it instantly. Uh, the pro version has uh, uh, facial recognition and there's there's lots of other really wonderful uh, um, you know benefits and features of something like this. It's so portable. Um, next slide. Uh, there's just some of the hardware that also does text and speech. There's a hover cam on the left and a pearl camera and just a, a, a basic uh, flatbed scanner on the right. Next slide, please. Uh, another, this is just uh, the uh, Compact 10 with speech because it does fit into this category as well. Next slide. Uh, what is a screen reader? It's it's basically, uh, uh, you know, there's a, there's a bunch of points here, but I'll just uh, quickly say that it, it is software um, that that allows the, the user that uh, is blind to, to be able to interact with the computer by using um, keystrokes and uh, and be able to have everything that a, a sighted person would would see read to them. Next slide. 
what is Braille? Braille is a, a basically a, a code of dots that allows um, people to read um, uh, um, with their fingers. Uh, we'll just we'll just move on from that one. That, that's I can take that. Here's a, an example of uh, the Braille alphabet, uh, literally from A to Z. It uh, it uh, is a, a a really cool system that uh, I would encourage anyone at a at a young age to 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 uh, to embark on uh, learning Braille, but uh, it's not for everyone. As we get older, we have to be able to uh, also have that dexterity in our fingertips and the feeling. Next one. Uh, let's just go past this. So this is just more about Braille for now. Uh, innovative technology, aftershocks, the Bose frames. Um, I've got a bone conductivity uh, um, headphones that are very uh, appealing to our community because uh, you can still have the uh, ability to have ambient uh, sound like traffic and, and subways and buses and, and people screaming at you um, and, and still be able to listen to your navigation or your books or your music or what have you, telephone calls. Next slide. Uh, and this is, uh, we, we've pretty much uh, got to the final end. This is just an image of the cycle for sight. Uh, this is my little promo in my own way. Uh, Saturday, June 19th, 2021. It's a virtual again this year. And uh, in this slide, I have an image of me. Uh, the first year I did cycle for sight. Uh, I don't remember what year it was, maybe 2012 or something like that. And I've got a lot of... Uh, road grime on my on my face and uh, I'm just so elated that I rode my bike uh, from um, Toronto all the way to Collingwood and then the, uh, I, I swore I would never do it again but uh, the next year I did it again and this is a picture of of me and my captain Steve or my pilot Steve uh, on a tandem bike crossing the, the finish line in, in Collingwood. Next slide. This is just a big thank you and uh, thank you to um, Everyone out there for listening to me drone on. Sorry, I had to sort of rush it at the end, but uh, uh, this is my contact information if anybody um, wants to uh, um, reach out and, uh, and ask me any questions uh, because I think I'm done. Stick a fork in me. Thank you, Morgan.